that was like ari that was thrice the tan was at thrice the speed the lay is being played the rhythm is being played at namaste i'm rishab and in this episode we will be sort of strengthening our concepts of chand and lay kari with another exquisite performance of ustad shahid parvez with shri ojas adhia before we begin listening to them just go like share subscribe do your thing before you start watching this video i promise the content is great so yeah go do it anyway a quick synopsis in this episode ustad ji is employing a lot of chand and laikari but it's like a wrapped up christmas gift you'll maybe have a tan which is a fast combination of notes being played at thrice the speed or tigun and ending in a tihai so which has all of the components which we have learned till now so 70 80% of our focus will lie on chand and laikari but there are other things in this episode which we've learned before so without wasting any time let's get to it the underlying rhythm is teen tal 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 Sum is the first beat. Uh-huh. His sitar sings. It 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 literally sings. Ah, that was gamak on the sitar. We'll discuss gamak in an, another episode. That was a slow version of a tan. That was the fast version. a little quick checking of the tuning such a resonant sweet sounding sitar ustad ji has let's see what he plays next aha that's the mukhda the first part of the lyric Think it's okay. Just enjoy what is happening. Try to take it in. Ah, just shortening the mukhda a little bit. There, there, there. It all depends if you can correctly come back to the sum or not. Otherwise, it doesn't make any sense. All the chans, all the like are you? sweet sargam tan some he did something quite marvelous here what's the doctor to explain here <laughs> thrice the tan was at thrice the speed the lay is being played the rhythm is being played at aha uh-huh. it's going at thrice the speed 
So one two three one two three one two three like that. Whereas the normal pace is like nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. One two three one two three one two three one two three, and that's it. Tripalli is the tihai being played at three different speeds: fast, medium, slow, and some. <laughs> so now he's picked up a new phrase. He'll play around with the face, which is. Now he's going to play around with this and come back. This is a combination. He played something thrice, so this was a T high landing on the sum. Might be a little complex to understand, but just roll with me. <laughs> Another T high. Try and recognize the T highs. They're not that tough to spot. Just just the same thing at the end of a phrase being repeated thrice. Ustadji's musicianship is at a different level. He can make the sitar sing, but his tantra kariya, the percussive part of the instrument, is so strong too. It's mad. Chand. Three, one, two, three. And some. A signal goes out to the tabla player that you can show your stuff now. Your repertoire. It's begun. What you can do during the while the tabla player is showing his repertoire is you can try and keep the beat, try and keep the rhythm. You have to stick with it. Keep the beat, keep the rhythm. Try and stay with them. One.
that was a short but a quick performance by Ustad Shahid Parvez and Shri Ojas Adhya on the tabla. What a great performance, which focused on Tans, Laikari, Chans. It, it was kind of a, a mixed package, a compound deal, but the video was great in general. And thanks again to Darbar for putting out such great quality Indian classical music and that too for free. One sort of observation I would like to kind of add from my side is that all throughout the video, all throughout the video, you can see Ustaji as well as the artist on the tabla, Shri Ojas Adhya, smiling. You will never ever see them with a poker face or a sad face. They're always smiling. And they're not smiling for no reason. Why do you think they're smiling? Because all the time, throughout these, I don't know, eight, nine minutes that the recording was taken, and I'm guessing the, the actual performance was way longer, sometimes they're coming up with these great tihais. Sometimes they're playing at four times, three times the speed. So like Ari, sometimes Chand, one, two, three, one, two, three, all of that stuff. So there is never a moment where they're just resting. They're always creating something or the other in their minds, which us mortals can only imagine. And then their fingers just follow them. That is the mark of a great artist, going on stage and enjoying yourself and letting your performance speak for yourself. So that was it for this episode. And I hope you enjoyed this episode. You're free to like, share, comment, and of course, go subscribe, go subscribe to this channel and help me spread this message of Indian classical music throughout my country and throughout the world. In the next episode, we'll talk about this amazing concept of mead or slides or glissando. I'm just mentioning the term here. You're free to come out and check out my next video. And I'll see you in the next episode. Until then, namaste.